Hi everybody, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be doing an experiment. I've never seen anybody pour on travertine tiles, so I'm gonna try this out today. I have four four by four inch travertine tiles. All I've done to prep them is just wash them and let them dry thoroughly. The reason I'm gonna try this is because I belong to a club and we're trying to do a fundraiser to raise money for our club and we're thinking about selling coasters and the other ladies were asking me if I could do paint pours on them so I said sure but <laughs> I'm not really sure about the travertine so I didn't pick these tiles that wouldn't have been my first choice but I'm gonna see if it will work so I've got my colors here and they will be listed in the video description I have mixed them with flow troll and I have put several drops of the spot-on treadmill lubricant in each cup in order to produce cells. So they're all mixed and ready to go. I just need to make my cup. I think I'm gonna be doing a ribbon pour on each one of these. So let's get started filling the cup. I'm gonna to try to keep a little bit of white between each color. I wanted to test this out using lighter colors because I've poured on stones before and they kind of dry dark and I didn't want these to dry too dark. Here's um, one of the rocks, or actually here's two of the rocks that I did on a previous video. And the colors dried pretty dark. They're still pretty, but I just wanted to go for a lighter effect this time. The cup I'm pouring into is a nine ounce cup. I had to sort of guesstimate on how much paint I would need for these four tiles. I probably actually have too much, but I'd rather have too much than too little and have to stop and remix. If I have any left over in the cup, I can always do a paint pour on, a, on a, another tile or maybe a small canvas. I'm not the neatest person when it comes to doing things like this. I watch videos where people don't spill a drop and I'm amazed. I don't know how they do it. I decided I'm going to put a little shot of black down through the middle just to give it a little bit more contrast. I'm gonna give this a little mix a slight stir in the shape of a cross. Okay, let's get started with our pour. I'm actually flooding these tiles because I didn't want to have to pick them up and tilt them. I'm gonna make sure I have plenty to run over the sides. So I'm gonna fill in any little places. It's really cool looking. Definitely different. So what I'm gonna do now is take my finger and make sure the sides are covered. Dip down in the paint that has spilled over the sides and use that. This travertine is actually travertine marble and it's very porous. So there's gonna be places where the paint sinks in, but that's the characteristic of the, of the stone. What I'm gonna do is let these cure, which takes about 30 days. And cure means where it's completely hardened through and through. They'll be dry to the touch probably within 24 to 48 hours, maybe even sooner, but they're not fully cured until they're hardened. And I like for them to be fully cured before I put any kind of finish on them, any varnish or any kind of sealer. So it'll be 30 days before I actually get to seal these. I'm definitely gonna use a waterproof sealant on these since they are gonna be used for coasters. Looks like I have everything completely covered. So there you have it, acrylic paint pouring on travertine tile. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups and I'll see you next time. Bye.